For this segment, we're going to talk about some applications that are a lot of fun to talk about in the tourism and entertainment areas. And what can be more entertaining than Las Vegas? So, Phil, uh, why don't you tell us about a couple of the applications that you'll find with Horner content in the Las Vegas area? Well, the first one was the light tower at Luxor. We did it night in the with the 9030 at that time, where we used uh, thermocouples as the inputs and the operator interface for the user interface. Again, controlling the temperature inside that room because those are very high powered lamps that need to keep cool or they burn out. So if I remember correctly, that was, are they, is the Luxor light still on into the sky? Yeah. It's still, still going. It's okay, still going. so it's that. If you go to the, if you look at the Luxor, of course, that pyramid-shaped casino, it's got this bright light shining off into the sky, right? And so it's actually controlling the environment around that light yep. is what we're doing in that particular application. Yep, and they haven't tore it down yet. And they haven't tore it down yet. There you go. So anyway, it's the, the, still the, still going strong, obviously, after a long time. The uh, the other one was the uh, um, dancing water in front of the Bellagio. That was okay. done with these in an OCS. Very cool. So I think there isn't anybody who hasn't, well, anybody who's been to Las Vegas probably that hasn't uh, seen that dancing fountain show. Very cool. It's also been in several movies. Was it the uh, Ocean's Eleven movie that was in, I believe? One of, the, one of that series? No, you're thinking of Fast and Furious. There's 20 of them. I don't know how many Ocean... Ocean's, Ele Ocean's Eleven. One of the Ocean's Elevens. They finished the movie. It might be the first one out in front of the Bellagio watching the dancing fountains. Trust me. Of course. Uh, of course. Okay. So a couple applications in, in Las Vegas. So um, Ken, uh, your, your dad is uh, who, just so to get back to uh, Phil's earlier story for if you watched a few episodes ago, Ken's father used to work at Horner as our sales and marketing manager, and he was actually one of my mentors early in my career. Um, your dad's from Chicago, right? Right. Absolutely. So he used to talk about Chicago all the time, especially, what is the sandwiches he likes? He likes those Italian, Italian beef. Oh, yes. Italian beef, yes. yes. And the politics. Well, <laughs> well I don't think he talks about the politics <laughs> much, but the Italian beef he talked about a lot. But anyway, there's a few attractions in Chicago that are powered by OCS. Why don't you name at least one of them? Yeah, one of them's the uh, the Crown Fountain in um, Millennial Park. Uh, it's it's basically a big video display that um, has you know water coming down over it, and kids can play in it. And then it's got you know it'll project like a face, and then water can kind of, like spit out of the person's <laughs> mouth. And it's it's kind of a fun family. Uh, uh, fountain. So there's OCS is controlling all those pumps. There's pumps. Mm -hmm. It measures like the the weather to know if the wind is too high. Should it actually uh, energize the pumps? Things like that. So okay. Very cool. Yeah. There's a lot of technology in fountains. Obviously, yeah. Absolutely. For sure. Now Casey and I are big sports fans, and the next uh, I guess uh, projects or installations we're going to talk about in the entertainment industry are specifically in the sports industry, near and dear to our heart, hearts for sure. So give us an example of where you'll find an OCS in a sports stadium. Oh, by the way, do you think one of your teams win? Uh, we won't go into that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we won't go into that. I'm a Detroit Lions fan. He's a San Diego Charger fan. Or L.A. now. Oh, I'm sorry. L.A. Charger You can't fan. keep track of them. Well, that's true. And neither one of them has won the Super Bowl. That, well, at least not recent. Well, yeah. ever? No, ever. Ever. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Thanks for that, boss. I appreciate that. Of course. Okay. Give us an NFL stadium where you will find a Horner OCS. Sure. One of them you don't have to go too far uh, is actually the one here in Indy. And um, we've taken one a Super Bowl. Yes. It's true. Okay. It's true. It Just wanted true. to make it clear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that again, boss. I appreciate that. Well, uh, part of that is the, the new Lucas Oil Stadium. Again, the, uh, the doors and windows uh, for the, the giant industrial doors are actually uh, controlled by Horner OCS, for that matter. Very cool. So it's a big, giant window that they can open to the free air and I guess let free air in. Yeah, just for, I mean, especially in those uh, September or early October nights is where it's, it's nice to, to let in that breeze. But then as you get into November, December, it's kind of nice to be able to shut those and uh, keep the, the 30 degree or below uh, environment out. Plus it's wonderful at the right time opening the, that, uh, that ceiling and putting the sun in the eyes of the opponent. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Strategic, huh? Yeah. That's true, absolutely. Now that's part of the roof. We weren't involved in the roof part of the project, but we definitely were involved with the, uh, with the opening window. Now another cool project, <clears throat> excuse me, that's NFL related. This one's a little more high tech. 
and that is um, the Cincinnati Bengals, where they play football. It used to be called Paul Brown Stadium. I think yes. they've got a sponsorship now, but anyway. The hot water system for the entire stadium uh, is controlled by a customer of ours. So they installed the hot water system. Now imagine, if you will, a facility with 65,000 fans that's only really open for about 10 dates a year, because that's pretty much a dedicated NFL stadium. And imagine the strain on the hot water system when everybody rushes at once at halftime and at, at, you know, at uh, commercial breaks or whatever to use the restrooms and all the strain that would have on the hot water system. So my understanding is that system using Horner OCS and of course a lot of expertise from our customer um, really does a terrific job on the hot water at Paul Brown Stadium. I think we have a couple more examples, don't we? Yeah, another one would be at the Arizona Stadium uh, for the Cardinals. We do the uh, controls for the field. So again, they have the, the field is actually grown uh, grass for that matter. And basically we roll it out for when it's not being used for that matter and it growing actively and then can be rolled back in by a smart sticks is actually a product used in that particular one. So rolled back into the stadium as well. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, it's the smart sticks specifically that are used. That thing, that feels almost like a giant flat car. Yeah. You know, the whole thing rolls out, gets sun and water and all that, and they roll it in for the game. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Now, not every sporting uh, application is football. We have one very fun one that is actually in baseball. So the Houston Astros, when they installed, when they built their stadium many years ago, um, they built it in a part of Houston Actually, they built it on the site where Houston Union Station used to be, the, the big train station in Houston. So they thought it would be kind of fitting with the theme to come up with a replica of a steam engine that they could roll out whenever they hit home runs or whatever the, whatever the case may be. So that steam engine isn't really a steam engine. It's actually a replica that's electrically controlled. And it's controlled, the, the guy who drives the steam engine, um, it's actually controlled by an OCS. Mm -hmm. I believe it might, I think it originally was one of our OCS 200s, text-based units, but I think they've since upgraded to one of our touchscreen models. So another very cool application to be sure. So the next time you're at your local sporting event, uh, you might just have a Horner OCS that's uh, involved somehow in kind of making the event a lot more fun.